So the first step here is just disinfect the work area to make sure it's sterile to remove any microorganisms that might be present. We are doing this so that there is no contamination during the experiment. And that's really important because we're looking at the digestive activity of just broad bean seeds. So the whole area is wiped down using disinfectant. The forceps and the scalpel I plan to use were disinfected. Now I soon realize the scalpel is of no use and I will bring a knife into the floor to and disinfect that as well. Then what I'll do is I'll grab the beaker that contains the broad bean seeds in it. These seeds have been soaked in water for the last 48 hours to soften the testa, which is the seed coat, and to activate the enzymes that will be required for digestive activity during germination. I then take my first seed and I try to cut it with the scalpel, didn't work, had to go off, get a knife, come back and do the same thing. So what I'm doing is I will grab the seed and what I'm gonna do is cut it in half. And the reason I cut it in half is so that I can expose the digestive enzymes that are present within the seed to the starch agar plates that I'm going to be placing them on. So I do it with the first one there now and then what I'll do is it'll be a little quick speed up video of me doing this to the other tree seeds as well. It's the same process each time, cut the seed directly in half so that there can be an open side to be placed down onto the agar plates. Once all four seeds were done, I got my starch agar plate, I took off the lid and I opened up all the seeds and I began to place them face down on the agar. The reason I'm doing this again, it is to expose the digestive enzymes of the seed to the nutrient on which they're gonna work. In this case, it's starch agar. Once all eight halves are on the agar i close it over and i'm done with that plate for the time being i place it off to the side and i get ready to do the second part i disinfect the area again because i'm using a different bunch of seeds and i don't want any contamination so forceps and knife are disinfected and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the seeds and i'm going to place them into the water that is on heat the reason i'm doing this is i'm about to boil the seeds for 15 minutes and we boil the seeds to denature any enzymes that are present and to kill those seeds and the reason we have to denature the enzymes is i want to prove that digestive activity happens during seed germination in this experiment so by killing these seeds and denaturing the enzymes there should be no activity on the starch agar plate but my experiment plate which i've already finished working on should have areas of clear digestion taking place so after 15 minutes i take these seeds out i put them back into a cool water bath just to so I can get the temperature out of them so I can start cutting them straight away. And then the same process again. I take out the seeds, I cut them in half, and I do this for all four seeds. Again, cutting them in half to be able to expose them to the nutrient agar in a moment. So you'll see it there now. Same thing again, all four seeds, cut them in half. These ones kind of fell apart a little bit more just because they've been softened so much from the boiling. So one of the seeds is missing its test by the time I put it into the plate, but it doesn't really matter. All we're interested in is exposing the cut side to the agar to allow it to carry out digestive activity. Now, like I said, there should be no digestive activity because these seeds should be dead and any enzymes should be denatured. These were then incubated for 48 hours at 25 degrees before I got them out and tested them with iodine. So iodine is used to test for the presence of starch. If starch is present, it will go blue black. If starch is not present, the color will remain the same. So I took the experimental plate first. I removed all the seeds. I then took my iodine and I placed a number of drops onto the plate. What I'm looking for here is clear areas because if, if there are areas that are completely clear, this would show that the seeds have digested any starch that was present in the first place and now there's no longer any starch there. So the rest of the plate that wasn't underneath the seeds should be dark and you can see the few clear areas there. It's not as clear as we'd like, but you can still see see the clear areas the the control plate wasn't as efficient there was a growth of some other fungi or bacteria so obviously the plate got contaminated in some way but it doesn't really matter we're interested in the experiment plate here and you can see those clear areas where there is no starch present which proves seeds digested starch during the germination period